pro Reagan, anti Reagan, somewhere in between. What do you think? Which side are you supposed to believe in that they are the murderers or that they're going to walk? I don't know. That's the people. They're both saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. But yet, how, how can I believe you that you're really dedicated to finding a solution when you're making a claim that the other side can't be trusted? Oh, yeah. So, so in other words, the, their, their, their final comments from both of them joining in a common quest for peace is undermined by virtue of what each has said in the first part of, of, of this rhetorical outburst. It's like they're being forced into talks too, because like, it's almost like the, the peace, what they're saying about peace is more for public perception, yet I mean, they're leaning away from each other and their true opinions is really stated in what they think about the other. I, I hadn't thought to look at body language, but it's very obvious once you mention it uh, that you're right. They're, uh, uh, they're, they are very much uh, uh, moving away. Um, interesting, too, if I look at it from Reagan's point of view, he's leaning toward the right, while Gorbachev is leaning toward the left. Maybe I'm going too far on that, but, uh, <laughs> but in any case, uh, yeah, I think there's a, there's a sense here in which, uh, in, in which uh, the, uh, I think the sincerity of the whole process is being called into question. Uh, and, uh, and, and, and perhaps also the message that, uh, you know, all of this inflamed rhetoric uh, really uh, makes one wonder about uh, the extent to which both of these gentlemen are in fact uh, uh, confirmed in their seeking peace. Or to what extent is this kind of a spokescreen that's got nowhere to go uh, at all. Interesting, interesting. Uh, now, a, a very different 1985, same year. And then this turns it around, doesn't it? What we just saw. And, and, and suggests that, you know, there they are uh, standing, uh, uh, interestingly enough, on a precipice. But uh, they're just looking at, uh, presume, I, I'm, I'm guessing that's dawn, uh, as opposed to sunset, <laughs> right? We're looking at the sun coming up and the possibility of, uh, of uh, a, a new day, right? Um, so Hy Rosen takes a very different approach here as in 1985, as he looks at the Reagan Gorbachev uh, interaction. And, and I think it's fair to say it, that he really doesn't seem to be emphasizing one over the other at this point. Uh, neither did the last one. They were both, if you will, in the last one, that they, they were both, Richard, I'm going to try to go backwards. It worked. Uh, um, uh, Thanks for waking me up. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed my amazement that it worked. Uh, uh, that, that, that they're both com they're, they're both equally to blame, uh, or, or it seems to me in, in this one, and they're both equally sharing in this somewhat blissful moment. Although Reagan is the yeah. one who's talking, so it's kind of like, see, uh, he's like, I was right. This is what I expected to happen. I told you so. Very interesting. And he was known as the great. He is known as the communicator. That's that's exactly right. Well, the question is, what is on the bottom? Is that the self-portrait of the? Yeah, that's the always signed. I, 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 I mean, are all his cartoons? I don't know, and I don't know enough about Rosen's cartoons to know that. It reminds me of who? Who was it that used to put the little uh, Oliphant, right? Yeah. Used to have a little creature uh, in, uh, in in the corner that had some witty remark uh, to to add. Uh, in here, and, and because it, he also has a, a, a paintbrush in his hand, I'm assuming this is High Rosen's yeah. self-portrait. But uh, it says right. a lot about the the image because it's like, yeah, you should communicate more often. Mm -hmm. Try it. Mm -hmm. But I, I, well, I think that's right. But, but I think the interesting question then becomes: it, Does this tilt toward Reagan, the great communicator, and, and he is the one who's speaking? You're exactly right. Of course. <laughs> 
Possibly if it came out of Gorbachev's mouth, it would be in Russian, and so we wouldn't understand it. But, uh, but, but no, but he could, he could have had the, that comment coming out of both, right? All he had to do was draw one more line. Yeah. And have them both say that. Uh, you know. I, I think, I hope this begins to demonstrate something about the richness of trying to look at these, uh, because you, you, you can start this out. You know, it, I didn't come in here today thinking I was going to comment on, uh, on, on that other line. You know, it's it just it, it's fantastic. It's one of the fantastic things about teaching, doesn't that I mean? We're always learning. Uh, and uh, it's, kept, it's kept me going. Sir. Is that the, the one prior to this, was that a Canadian? Paper, the Windsor Star. You know, that's a, another thing that I would like to to, uh, to know more about, and I don't. Um, uh, and I, I'm I'm not positive, Sean, whether these are the, these political cartoons are simply from the United States, or if they are more broadly United States and some of our close neighbors. So, but. Good point. I mean, it would it would help to know more about that. The, um, the books are still being published at Club Yearly, and they're divided by sections. And so they're on the topic, they categorize the cartoons on topic. Mm -hmm. and the booklets begin with uh, Pulitzer Prize winning cartoons and award winning cartoons. And they do have a, a section of international cartoons that deal with international issues or international cartoons of on um, American issues. Well, thank you, uh, thank you, Scott. You know far more about that uh, than uh, than I do. And and you know what would be helpful is if in parenthesis uh, they would indicate where Windsor is, just as you know. Uh, but I'm sure there's a Windsor somewhere in the United States. Do they have good whiskey? Pardon me. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was Bridget speaking. Uh, <laughs> in cartoon style, to be a European cartoonist, and American versions are more are, are less are less complicated and more stylistic. Ah, tendency to color and shade in uh -huh. more. Very interesting. Very interesting. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, yeah. So, so this that would all kind of internal evidence would suggest that this is in fact Windsor, Ontario, yeah. right? And I just looked it up, and it, Windsor Star does it is Windsor Ontario. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs>